What it do, what it do, what it do. It's your boy, Silly Cell, and we back in here with another episode of Juice City Legends. If you have not, please hit the like button, please subscribe to the channel. All right, gang, before I get started, I want to give a shout out to all my supporters, all my subscribers. Y'all keep on liking the video, y'all keep subscribing. Also, let me give a shout out to my player partner, man, man, so crazy the TV, man. Y'all make sure y'all tune in to my guy, man. You know what I'm saying? Anybody out there that needs promotion, any kind of uh, merchandise you got, any kind of product you have, need your interviews for music you might have, hit the email, it's in the link down below. With that being said, let's get it. All right, gang, we got to talk about this situation with Dallas, Texas legendary rapper, Big Chief, known now by Don Chief. All right. So for everybody that's not familiar with the Texas rap scene, Don Chief is a, a pioneer rapper that came out. I'm going to say I started hearing about Chief like early 2000, 2001. It was a song called No Half Stepping. And uh, I think Mr. Pookie and Mr. Lucha was on this song as well. But Don Chief... In the 2000s, he was real big in Dallas, uh, was a pioneer. He was one of the first ones to get on in Dallas, musically. Uh, but over time, you know what I'm saying, I think he just had his, he, he had his, he had his time, you know what I'm saying. And it seemed like over time, now this is my opinion, I know y'all Dallas people are always talking about stay out of Dallas business. I'm going to talk about it because I've been going to the DF dub my whole life. Got family out there and made too many plays with dudes in the D. So ain't nobody going to tell me what I can and can't talk about. You know what I'm saying? But to my, my what I what I think, I feel like when all the new rappers start coming out, the Mo3, Trap Boy, Yellow, Don Chief never did hand them guys the baton, man. You know what I'm saying? It was like he was still in competition with them. And he kind of got passed up, you know what I'm saying, which brings us to what the topic of today is. Now, back then, when Don T Chief was on top, he did an interview with Say Cheese TV when Say Cheese was kind of coming up. And from what the rumors are, Don Chief kind of gave Sean Cotton, the final Say Cheese, the cold shoulder. So years later... We all know Say Cheese is one of the most powerful entities in the in the hip hop community right now. You know what I'm saying? If you get a, a Say Cheese post, it can change a person's life. Sean Cotton, he has different artists. The labels are calling him every day, trying to sign t uh, talent. Everybody want to be posted on his page. He's one of the number one sources for hip hop information right now. You know what I'm saying? He really has his hand around the culture right now. And Don Chief, he's feeling some kind of way because he feel like, hey, man, I knew you before all that. How you going to act funny towards me? You know what I'm saying? He feel like it's Sean's job to let the youngster know who he is and keep his name alive. But where I disagree with Chief at, the youngster don't care about what you did in 2005, 2006, 2007. You know what I mean? Everybody has their run. And it's on you what you do with your run. And I know you feel in some kind of way. You feel like baby stunning on him back in the day. See, Chief was supposed to get a deal with cash money at one, once upon a time. But for whatever reason, the deal didn't go through. You know what I'm saying? And it seemed like to me, that's where the turning point came in at Chief's career. It was like he was on the same level as a Yo Gotti and all these other different people when every different state down south had a hood star that was rapping out their city. Big Chief was the one for Dallas, but he never blew up outside of West Dallas. So he feeling some kind of way. If y'all ever heard the song Mo3 had, the, the song that blew Mo3 up, it was a song called No Half Stepping. That was the, a remake of Big Chief song No Half Stepping. Now, from my understanding of what the streets say, Big Chief was kind of throwing salt in that situation. You know what I'm saying? He didn't even show up for the video or nothing. From, from, from what Lucha said, they photoshopped his picture and put it in, in, in the video. 
You know what I'm saying? And then also, when Mo3 died, when they asked Big Chief, who are the legends in Dallas, he refused to give props to Mo3, Trap Boy Freddy, Yellow Beezy. Kept saying, how they going to do what I did? I mean, I, I, sold, I sold hundreds of thousands of CDs. You can never say a CD, but I can always get a million views with his little high-pitched voice, man. You know what I'm saying? And Chief, so you sound like an old hate on that, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to disrespect Chief because I understand you a legend in the city of Dallas, man. You know what I'm saying? But you got to get out your own way, man. And now you mad at Sean, feeling like Sean about to show you some kind of love. You trying to say Sean ain't putting nobody on all that OG you and your Philly, man. That ain't no good look for you, man. You know what I'm saying? You supposed to be an OG. You supposed to be signing dudes right now. You still convinced. You so busy trying to let everybody know you was the real deal in Dallas. You was a real dope boy. You the first one. You this and you that. How you the first one when the DOC from, from Dallas? You know what I'm saying? You act like people want bumping Mr. Lucci and Mr. Pookie. Big Tuck. You know what I'm saying? Tom Tom. You not the only legend from Dallas, man. You don't hear none of them boys crying. They just grinding, giving their music to their fans. You know what I'm saying? And you got to get out them CD, man. Ain't nobody bumping no CD, bro. Cars ain't even have, don't even have CD players in there no more, Big Chief, man. Come on, man. You got to get off of that. The OG don't supposed to be crying, man. You crying right now, Chief, man. Like I said, there ain't no disrespect, man. You still a legend. You know what I'm saying? We know you're a real one. But this is not a good look. Going all on boss, boss talk one-on-one gossiping and all that. Trying to explain your side of the story, man. Your legacy should speak for itself, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you can't make the youngsters listen to your music, bro. They don't care about what you did in 2000, fam. You know what I'm saying? You making yourself look bad. If you want to, if you want to, if you want to let everybody know you the man of Dallas, go sign some new artists, man, and get out the way, man. You know what I'm saying? Or be an OG like Kiki and them. Just fa just cater to your fans and do you, and show love to the youngsters. That's what you got to do, man, because you ain't handled that situation with Trap, Yella, and three at all, bro. I don't care what you say about them boys, man. Them the three legends people going to talk about when they talk about Dallas. And I know Trap and Yella get a bad rap, but this part of the story, bro. You know what I'm saying? That era right there going to be talked about more than your, your era, bro. Y'all Yo, didn't make it outside of West Dallas, fam. You know what I'm saying? You got to be real with yourself. Now, we still going to bump your music, man. Do you, man. But you can't be doing that crying, Big Chief. Hey, this your boy Seller Cell, man. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Y'all think Big Chief wrong for calling out Sean Cotton? Do y'all think Sean Cotton wrong for not fooling with Big Chief? Y'all let me know what y'all feel, man. This your boy Seller Cell with Juice City Legends. We checking out. Peace.